Hello guys, here we are again. We are continuing our work on the Ajax and model boxes tutorial under Laravel framework. Let us remind ourselves what we want to achieve and where we have arrived so far. What we want is a, a dashboard with three buttons representing three different servers. When we click on a button we would like to have a model box with the error log from each of the server, like this one. This is the error log from the server. And if I click another one, please note that I get the same data. This is because we, have, we, done, we, we did very little, almost nothing in the controller. Today, most of our time, almost all time, will be working on the controller which <coughs> retrieves the data from the servers and sends it back to Ajax. Here it is, the controller. As you can see, very basic, very primitive, simple function, retrieving, re, re, uh, re, returning static data, and the same data to no matter what, what uh, server is being requested, it returns the same. This is the first thing to fix. And this controller receives a, from Ajax a variable with the with the code server. Let me recall you. This, this is the Ajax call, and here, when we do the request, we are sending the server name, which is the, practically the name, the word Texas, Berlin, or Seoul. And this is being received here in the controller. So let us retrieve it fir first hint okay this is the request request has is a very powerful powerful class with plenty of functions we were creating here a variable php variable server and this variable is taking the request and there is an input function there, very nice function because it it always works no matter whether it's get or post or delete it's always will retrieve you what you are what you need okay Inputs, uh, sir, this uh, request has already received the name of the city and this is being now in, inside the, the server variable. Now we need uh, each server, there will be a different function calling each of the three servers because they all may have and do have different uh, technologies, different environments. So I need three, three functions, but for this exercise we will work on the one, don't worry, it's, it's not, uh, not too much time, but I will say something like get, get Texas, there will be one function, and respectively we, what, what do we have, we have Berlin. And we have Seoul. Good. Nice. And uh, so let's, let's copy this data to these functions, which will later. Okay, we'll go later. We'll remove it we will remove it but now we would like to do the, the if if server is be, uh, Texas okay and then we would like to fill Let's call it what 
uh, error log log data log log data is is log data is get Texas. Okay. Look. And then okay, and then if, if this is Berlin, it's going to be Berlin. And if it's uh, Seoul, okay, uh, okay. And to be sure, if there is no, if there is no sign, we we go, we are going to return false in the unlikely case. None of three has arrived. Okay, fine. Uh, log that actually, not log that. We can actually already return this data. We're not going to play with it, we're going to return this value. This is our skeleton functions for the three servers, and now the real job. Get Texas. Let's let's work on this one, and the other will be just a dummy, dummy data. Uh, I have a scratch here. Uh, 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 yes, that's right. I have a scratch here. I copy it to the function get Texas because I know it works okay and let me explain what I do uh, this is uh, the, we are go going to use CURL call to a protected protected um, script which is located on some foreign s server in a protected directory as you can tell, it's protected uh, with user and password. As soon as this video is ready, I will, of course, change the password, just in case someone has ideas. So the CURL is uh, sending the request, uh, requesting data from the foreign server, gets something back in the JSON, uh, JSON format, and then uh, we don't, we said we don't want JSON, so you, we are going to JSON decode here and return this JSON decoded value back. Uh, the function returns it back to the skeleton function here, and it goes back uh, to to Ajax. And what do you think? Will it work or not? Let us identify this, and this is for, to say that this is Berlin, and this, let's call it, this is Seoul. Okay. Uh, let's deploy it. Let's check if it works. Let's check if it works. Let's check if it works. I don't even need, probably. To refresh it because we haven't changed anything on the wow yes it works but Lucille what do we see in that what do you what do we see in the we see uh, this and this is very good because as you know the logs are 
security sensitive items. They can, can have password and path. And we and the server, the foreign server is sending us encrypted data. And let me show you how we can quickly de decrypt it. If I check on Seoul, I should have dummy data. Yeah, Seoul. This is the log. This is the dummy data from the controller. Good. Now, as you can see, we have seen the encrypted data, and we would like to decrypt it. Uh, this is, of course, depend depending on the environment. It depends on the environment, but we are lucky here because the foreign server and our server are both using Laravel. Therefore, uh, the data. Uh, the hash that you have seen has been encrypted via Laravel and we are going to decrypt it with Laravel. For this, we are going to do something. We need a very nice, a very nice static function called crypt and it is in Illum, illum, illuminate. So it's in support. It's a backslash. It's a facade. Facades, or will you? Or I think it's plural. Facades, crypt. It's called crypt. Okay. It's a very nice static function. And once we have it here, what we can do now is simply decrypted. The return value is going to have that uh, string and as you probably remember from it has uh, the, uh, the array log content, this one. Okay, very good. Our return value log content, and we simply say it's a static double colon. The crypt screen. The crypt screen string. We have received a return in the, the array with data from uh, from JSON decode. We received first we got JSON from uh, from CURL. Then we have decoded it, and decoded array is inside the variable return value. We know <coughs> that uh, one of the indices in the array is log content must have it's an agreement between the two servers which is done before before uh, the coding on the foreign server has been performed so we are taking this uh, this uh, encrypted long content we are decrypting it with the crypt 
and the crypt is the that uh, static utility facade which we have just now activated and now it should work I guess let us deploy it again yep it works that means that we have decrypted the uh, the value of, on our server and we have now a real real error log from a foreign server and the other servers are still returning the dummy data from the controller because we have not uh, done anything on the controller yet okay uh, so we have run it I, we have achieved our goal we are getting the foreign data decrypted we we did most of our work on the controller let let before I say goodbye to you let us uh, let me show you the controller work we did first we had we we we, <coughs> we took the request and we have retrieved the value of the server name or variable okay then we have this skeleton three ifs for three different functions they should be three different functions because they have three different technologies of retrieving data corl is one of them and get texas is the example where we use corl attacking a foreign script with password and key and user and we have decrypted the the part which came from the uh, from the server and we are returning it and these are the other two functions still still a dummy function and that would be about it i thank you guys uh, for your attention and this is the last this was the last part of the tutorial laravel ajax model boxes controllers decrypting security thank you hopefully be able to show you another tutorial soon thank you for your attention bye